Hello there friends, it's great to see you again. This is part 3 of my Attack on Titan fan art set, and today I will be painting Armin. In previous videos I painted Eren and Mikasa, and I recommend you check them out. And in the next one, the final painting will be everyone's favorite Captain Levi. As fun as it was painting Eren and Mikasa, I was the most excited for Armin, and that's because he is my second favorite character from Attack on Titan. First being Hanji, because Hanji is the best and you cannot change my mind about that at all. But Armin is the second because I kind of have this weakness for the soft character archetype. You know, the one who is not the bravest, the strongest, or even the leader. But that's the support character, who is the glue between all the others, who is the one who keeps the friendships alive. Maybe they need some protection or they're a little weaker, but they still give so much to the group in the form of intelligence or emotional support. I think a good example of this character type is Ami from Sailor Moon, who is also my favorite character from that show. She is extremely intelligent, but very introverted, not the strongest out of them. She's not exactly the jump into combat and defeat everybody type. She is much more reserved, yet her friends love her for who she is. and. I think Armin is very similar. I just really like this type of character, maybe because in a way I can relate to it, <laughs> at least a little bit, because I too am very introverted. I'm not saying I'm highly intelligent, but I'm extremely introverted, and it really means so much to me when my friends still accept me for who I am. I talked in my previous video how I wanted each character in this set to represent certain concept or an emotion that I associate with them. And for me, Armin represents hope, because despite all the hardships he and his friends went through, he never gave up on his dreams, and he still found some positivity in this really harsh world they have to live in. That's pretty much the message I wanted to capture with his face expression. He still sees the good in the world, despite all the ugliness. I believe that Armin is just as strong as the other characters, maybe not physically, he might not be the most skilled fighter, but it's his emotional strength that kept a lot of them going. Well, that concludes my short lecture on why Armin is the best, thank you for coming to my TED talk. For this painting, I chose to recreate this iconic beach scene from the end of season 3. I recreated the background and also Armin's clothes, though I decided to go for the haircut he had in season 4 because in season 3 he's still on the stage when he looks a little bit like a girl and I want him to look a bit more masculine. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with looking like a girl, but I don't know, I just found his features in season 4 much better in my opinion. That's just what I think. While I'm at it, talking about looks, I'd like to take a moment to really admire and appreciate how much effort the animators went through with making each character truly unique in Attack on Titan. Like, there are some animes where the only difference between the characters is, like, hairstyle or eye color. All the other features are the exact same. But in this anime, they actually made some massive differences between them in skin color and face shape and like even nose shape. Like, I think it's really cool and it shows how much passion was put into this show. Armin's background is the simplest out of the four paintings in this set because it doesn't have that many details and only a few parts, it's just the sky, the clouds, and the sea. His clothes are a little bit more complicated than the others, a little more detailed, but like in the show his pants and shirt are white, so I won't have to paint that much, it's just very simple shading. Once I'm done with the line art, I start coloring, beginning at the background as usual. I do very simple flat wash for the sky in the same bright blue I used for Mikasa's painting and the same bright blue that is often seen in a lot of scenes in the show. I didn't get too overconfident or experimental in this painting, I just didn't see the need. I kept it very simple, flat wash for the sky and just very easy and honestly light gradient from grey to white for the clouds. I used watered down grey pigment for the clouds and the way I did the gradient is I just dumped a little bit of paint on the corner, like the bottom corner, and then I pulled it towards the top with a wet brush, gradually adding more water so it will be more diluted. At some areas I just collected it with a dry brush, collected the water so it will not spread too much and won't create a puddle that will become eventually just a flat wash. Because I need a gradient, I also need it to dry relatively fast. I don't know if that's like the best, most correct technique to do it, but it works for me. 
The water was probably the best and most fun part of this painting. I mixed a bunch of different shades of blue, ranging from like really cold, just pure blue to a greener one. And I also used Daniel Smith Mayan blue pigment. What's cool about it is that when it dries, it has a lot of texture to it. And I wanted some parts of the sea to have that texture, just to keep it a little interesting. I didn't overdo it like with the trees behind Mikasa, but I wanted still not all of it to be flat. One of the things that kept Armin going throughout the show and throughout all the tragedies he had to face was his desire to see the world, especially the sea. And at this point I can relate to him. I grew up in a city very close to the sea, like so close I could just take a bus any day and vi visit the beach. And to be honest, I didn't do it that much. I like to say, oh yeah, I grew up close to the sea, and I know I didn't go there that much. But now that I live in kind of central Canada, right in the middle of the continent where the best I get is just a tiny lake, I really miss the sea, I miss the beach, I miss the smell of salt and the waves and the sand and all the seashells you see over there. It's just such a good memory. I really took it for granted. It's been five years since the last time I've been to a real beach and not like a lake with some sand. I miss it so much. I relate to Armin 100% in this case. Though I do have this mild fear in the back of my mind that once Corona is over and I can travel again, I visit my home country, I go to the beach, and I will be reminded why I never went there that much. Maybe turns out that I actually hate sand and salt water isn't fun, but for now I'm just focusing on the positive. I miss the sea. At the top round part of the picture, I drew a geometrical shape that resembles a sun or a star. In my original design, there wasn't anything inside it, but I thought it's kinda empty, so I put a seashell there. I paint the sun in light yellow and the area outside of it in the same blue I used for the sky. Once I'm satisfied with the background, I start coloring Armin, starting from his face and arms and then later moving on to his clothes. I intentionally left that part somewhat flat and very simple because my plan was to color it later, give it more precise shading with colored pencils. I did end up painting several layers on Armin's face, but that was mostly to make sure that his skin color and hair color match. When working on Armin's clothes, I start with the white shirt and pants. I use the exact same technique I used with the clouds, where I put a little bit of grey paint in a corner that's supposed to be shaded, and then I pull it towards the light part. Once I'm done with that, I mix a very dark brown color to paint the straps of his ODM gear.
As I briefly mentioned in the beginning, this painting was very quick and simple, and I was soon done and I could move on to my favorite part, painting the golden halo. To paint the tracery I used diluted acrylic again. The brand I'm using is Golden Heavy Duty Acrylic. It worked out so well in my previous painting that I decided that this is gonna be my go-to material when I need to do a large black flat surface. I actually struggled quite a lot with finding the right material to do that stuff. I experimented with watercolors and different types of ink, gouache, and just never worked out the way I wanted it to. And acrylic seems okay. Like it is better than everything else. I might change my go-to material once I find something better. For now acrylic is the best for me. If you can think of a better material, please leave a comment below because I would love to try out your suggestions. Once the tracery is dry, I move on to the shadows and details that I plan to do ahead. I use Prismacolor pencils. I start with Armin's clothes and use very light grey and gradually go darker and darker. I use very soft strokes so I can layer them. I also added a little bit of blue in some places because white clothes often reflect their environment and because he is surrounded by the sea and the sky, his clothes would reflect blue. Even though I have a huge box of Prismacolor pencils that contains 150 different colors, it doesn't have that many shades of brown for some reason, and I do not have a shade of brown dark enough to actually look like shadow on the straps of his ODM gear, so I had to use black instead. The sun was the most fun. I made it a bit more vibrant with the pencil, and I added some shading to give it more volume, and in the end it just looks super cool. Last but not least, Armin's face. I started with making his eye color a bit stronger and more vibrant, and then I added shadows to his face. His skin tone is very warm, so I used warm shades of brown. Later, I also highlighted his hair color, adding more yellow and a little bit of orange. I also did the shading on his hands and the seashell he's holding. The seashell is painted gray, but I wanted it to be warm as well, and also it kinda gets lost with all the white around it. So I made it brown, like reddish earth-like brown. Because I used such light colors when painting this picture, I didn't have to go over the line art too much, though in some areas the 0.1 pen was clearly way too thin and it was not visible at all. I outlined Armin with a thick pen just to separate him from the background, and I did the same to separate the clouds from the sky and the sea from the sky. I did it with my brand new Sakura Pigma pens and they are so fresh, like oh, I love using new art supplies. I had so much fun making this painting. It's very bright and cheerful compared to the other ones and it has this feeling of hope to it, which exactly what I was going for. 
I kind of struggled with Armin's design when I was still sketching it, but after a few modifications I did, mostly around his face, I think it turned out amazing. My absolute favorite part of this painting is the sea. It's just so beautiful. I love the waves, the shape of them, and also the colors. And the way that some panels have texture to them is really cool. The gold halo really complements Armin's color scheme, complements his face and his hair, and it looks so good with the background. I just really like it. If you like this painting as much as I do, I suggest you subscribe. I also did Aaron and Mikasa, and links to these videos are in the description. And I still have to do Captain Levi as the closing last piece of this set. I'm really excited, because honestly I want to get done with it. I also recommend you follow my Instagram, because I am most active there, and if you wish to support what I do, I also have an Etsy shop with prints and originals, and I'm also on Patreon. Thank you for watching, thank you for your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.